how to set up the Eden Editor Respawn module. What's up everybody, this is Gunter Severlo. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Respawn module in the Eden Editor. Let's go to the Editor and then we're going to choose Stratus. First thing we're going to do is we're going to choose Blue 4 and then we're going to choose a Rifleman and then we're going to go to F5 Systems then we're going to go down to multiplayer and then respawn position. Place this respawn position here and this is the respawn module. So what you're going to do is you're going to double click this. We can give this a name so we're going to name this respawn base and since we are a soldier we want it to be infantry the side that we are on is blue 4 and we could show it to everyone if we want or we could just show it to the side that we're on. Uh, we could also have a notification too if we wanted to. You hover your mouse cursor over each one of these names it'll give you a brief description. What you're going to need to do is since we are blue four, you're going to need to put the code for the for blue four side. So blue four is west. We got to put respawn underscore west. If you were op four, you would put respawn underscore east. If you were independent, then you would put respawn underscore guerrilla. And if you were civilian, then you would put respawn underscore civilian. That's how that works. So you just hit OK and basically it'll say respawn west. The next step is to go to attributes at the top left and go down to multiplayer. Don't worry about the top part. Just go down to where it says respawn and we want to set this to respawn on custom position. So you want to choose that and then next we want to go down to respawn delay and then you could set the time that you want uh, three to five seconds is pretty good so I'll set it for three seconds you can leave everything else or adjust it if you want and that's all you have to do just hit OK next we're going to save our mission so just click on save and we're on stratus here test In order to respawn, you have to be in multiplayer. So let's go to play at the top and then play in multiplayer. Let's hit OK. Continue. And here we are. So we're going to respawn right there. So we're going to run over here. And I can manually respawn if I want. For this sake, we're going to kill ourselves with a grenade. You can see the counter. And here we are, we spawned, we spawned in our spot. Alright, let's go back to the editor. Let's move this inside a building. So automatically, if you bring it to the building, it'll compensate for the building's height. So let's go inside the building, barracks. And let's put the respawn point right about here. And uh, that's it. Let's save it. And then let's go back to playing multiplayer. So the server server is already loaded. You just gotta restart it. Here we're on the outside. This time we're gonna manually respawn. So wait for the countdown. And here we are inside the barracks. That's how that works. If you wanted to do O4, then let's place an O4 player. So here we have O4 and what we'll have to do is name this respawn underscore east because O4 is east. And inside you want to switch this to O4 and that's basically it. I'm just going to save it. Play. Since we're old port, it's going to be red. Run over here.
here. And do the manual respawn because it's faster. Wait for a countdown, and here we are inside. I wanted to do gorilla, then we just go to independent. Place a gorilla soldier. That's us. And then we'll go to the module again and name this G U E R R I L A Gorilla. Hope that's right. And then you want to put this, set this to independent. Click OK. And then we're going to save this. Go to play. Go to multiplayer. Choose your guy. And it's going to be green because we're uh, on the independent side. We'll run over here. And we're going to manually respawn. And here we are inside. If you copy and paste this module, control C, control V, the thing is, you can't have the same name as the editor will always place the number one to it. Now, let's do this a few times. We're going to place one inside the building, inside the barracks. Let's see. Got to make sure you have it up, otherwise you spawn in the floor or below it. I have one here, and then we'll have one over here by this by this uh, tower. So now we have three respawn points, even though it says two. And it's still, everything's the same. I want to show you guys something. So we're going to save this and go to play. Unless you define in a description.ext using a template to define or give you a choice of which of those locations to choose, then what will happen is when you actually respawn, randomly place you at whichever location. So I don't know where I'm going to spawn at, so I respawn in the one location. If I do this again, we'll probably be in the building or by the tower or in the same spot. Okay, this time we're in the building. If we respawn again, we might be by the tower. Oh, we're back here. So let's try it one more time. Let's see if we hit the tower this time. Right by the tower. So as you can see, it's random. Now, if you wanted to be able to choose where you're going to spawn at, then what you're going to need to do is create a description.ext and put a respawn template into the exe. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we are in the respawn module test mission that we created. Here's the mission SQM, which is the mission. And here is a description ext. Well, to make a description.ext, just start up a notepad document or a notepad plus plus document. I'm going to give you guys a couple of codes, and what you're going to do is you're going to put those codes in there and then save it. And when you save it, save it as a description.ext. Make sure it's correct. All right, so we have the description.ext, and with it open, we have two codes here respawn templates. This is all one word. Respawn templates space left bracket space right bracket space equals space left squiggly bracket. I don't know the actual name of it, sorry. And then in quotes menu position and then right right bracket and then uh, a semicolon. The next line down is respawn on start space equals space zero and then semicolon what this particular code does this allows you to choose whichever spawn point 
that you want to spawn on versus randomly showing up at whichever spawn point like now this code here basically what this says is do you want to respawn on the start so what happens is if you have this set to one you have this set to one like that then what will happen is when the mission starts you'll be on the map and then you'll be choosing you'll have the option to choose whichever spawn point you want to start at and then you can just pick that and you'll start there now if you don't want that and you just want it and you just want to start the mission and then when you die you want to choose where you want to spawn at then just have this at zero so we're going to have this at zero and then we're going to go back into the mission so what we're going to do is right now we only have three locations that we can spawn at so let's create another location just take one of these modules and let's choose the house to spawn at so we'll spawn right here and then the other location will be at the airfield or air base position right here and uh, we spawn at the marina at this location let's spawn right here so I've got a bunch of locations okay we're gonna save that I'm gonna go to play Get back on our server. And respawn. Alright, so as you can see now, we have the option to spawn where we want. We can spawn at the airfield. Here we are. spawn at the house here we're at here we are at the house or we could spawn at the in Angie Marina here we are all right guys this uh, concludes the little tutorial I hope you enjoyed that and learned something and will find this useful. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.